guys, I'm Marissa, can you see my February wrap up, and March TBR, I had a pretty good month in February, I continued like crazy, like reading five books a week, I probably not crazy that was going on, so yeah, let's jump into what I read. The first book that I read I actually don't have with me, because I just gave it back to Jasmine, and that is Let the Storm break by Shannon Messenger and this is the sequel to The Skyfall which I read towards the end of last year so. um, and I really enjoyed it. It was five stars. It was a great sequel and it just got so crazy and the ending killed me. I just need a second. I need the last one so badly. Okay. Um, the next book that I read was a Ritzy book and it was so you can see that waiting I think it was Waiting on the Sidelines by, what's her name? I don't know her name right now, but it was good. I read it in the night. It was so good. It was about, like, teenagers and football, which I mean, what more can you ask? I just, I loved it. I'm afraid to read the sequel, but I really want to. I'm afraid. So, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Um, next book I read was The Statistical Probability, I Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. Um, I've been wanting this book since it came out like two years ago and I never did and then I got an arc of the second one and I wanted to read this one first and I did and I loved it so much. It was super short but it felt like a movie. Like I just loved it. And after that I read This Is What Happy Looks Like and I read this one in two sittings. Like after I finished from the middle of the night I saw this one in like read like 100 pages. I just, it was so good. I read this one in 24 hours. Like both probably and they were just I love her writing style, and I want her to read all her other books after this. Now, next I read Perfect Ruin by Lauren DiStefano. Sorry. And I loved this book so much. Um, I've read her other series and loved it, and this one was just as good. If not better, we'll see how the series goes, and I'll let you know. But, oh, it was just so good. It was so, like, original. Like, one of the most original books I've read in a long time. And the writing style was gorgeous, of course, and I just, I love it so much, and just, oh, I loved it, I loved it. Um, next, I read Heaven by Alexandra Adonetto, and I was also in the Halo series. I read the first two a couple years ago, never read this one, but now that I have, I'm happy that I did. It was kind of a terrific ending, and well, it's not my favorite ending in all the world, I did really enjoy it, and I'm very sad to see these characters go, because it's been so long. But yeah, I gave that one five stars. Next, I read Caress by Marissa Meyer. Um, I got this one first, and I didn't end up going to, but my lovely friend Mary got it signed for me when she went, and I love this book. I read it in, like, two settings, and it, it's huge. I just was oh, so good. There's a world and the characters and everything that this author has built is amazing. Like, I would never want to stop reading about it. I'm oh, it's just so good. So good. I loved all the characters and I really want the next one, but I'm sad because it's going to be over. I just, okay. Next, I read a review book and that was Chase Tinker in the House of Secrets by Malia and Haberman. I gave this one four stars. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It's a nice break reading middle grade, I guess, and I enjoyed it. And as for that, I'm currently reading Icons by Margaret Stoll. I'm a little over halfway in, I think, and I'm enjoying it. I find it a little hard to get through, but I'm also doing a lot of cool and stuff. So, yeah, hopefully I can finish this very soon. And after that, I'll start my February TBR. And the first book on that, which is what I'm hoping to read Next is Side well, it's on Kindle, sorry. Good. Side Effects May Vary by Julie Murphy. Um, this is Julie Murphy's debut novel and I'm good friends with her. She lives in my area and I'm so excited to get that one to read this ever since I first heard about it when I met her. I oh my god, I wanna read it so bad. It's about a girl who has cancer and so she like does all this stuff to that you would want to do before you die, and then she finds out that she's not dying and has to make amends for all the things that she did, and I just, oh, I'm so excited. So excited. 
after that, I'm going to read Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott. I actually just got the signs today. And I'm so excited to read it. So it's like The Hunger Games. And I just want to read it so bad. So bad. Like, dude. Let me get on that. Next, I have The Selection Amulet by Kira Kanaska. I have read this, these books. I don't. What? I just. I haven't. And it's crazy. I need to. Because last one comes out soon. And there's rumors of her coming for a signing. So I need to get on them. And they're pretty short. So hopefully I can get to both of them, if not the first one. After that, I should probably read the review book. And if I do, that will be another first and a second one. Shoot, let me check something. That will be A Beautiful Fate and A Broken Fate by Catman. Um, I heard this is Greek mythology, maybe? I think so, but I know Jasmine really like them, so hopefully I will too. After that, I have Mind Games by Kirsten White. Um, I'm really excited for this one. I loved her Paranormal Sea series, and this one's pretty short. I like about sisters and powers and kidnapping and mind games, obviously. After that, I have The Burning Sky by Sherry Thomas. I'm super excited to read this one. I want to read it. Forever with the mocking with my tree stack. Hopefully I can. It sounds amazing. Just then we have White Cat by Holly Bolak. I've been wanting this one for a very long time. I never had it and the whole series is out. I never read anything like Holly Black. And I just I need to, I need to get on it. I need to get on it like right now. Hopefully I will. Next I have Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. I put this on like more to attack than I care to admit, and I never got into it. And I don't know why because I've heard such amazing about the series, and now it's all out. And I just don't know why I haven't read it. And I need to because I know I'm gonna love it. Like, come on, Marissa, let's go, let's go. Next, I have Daughter of Smoking Bone and Days of Bunshot by Lainey Taylor. I've read both of these and loved them, but the other one comes out in the beginning of April, so I want to reread these before hand so hopefully I can get to them because I love them and I just want to get back into the world and the characters before I have to say goodbye to them. So yeah, hopefully I get to those books kind of a large trait stack but I don't know really what I want to read, what I'm going to be in the mood for so we'll see at the end of this month. Thanks for watching and I will 